And when I got into high school, I got on the speech team and competed and got trophies and blue ribbons. And then I got recruited to go to Ohio University and be on their speech team. Nothing better than a full scholarship. Again, one I'm one of six kids. I don't know that I would have gone there without that scholarship. So I transferred to UCLA so that I could catch the bus and drive into Beverly Hills to take a private lesson with my mentor. And that kind of, that kind of kicked me off. I got a call from my agent, and they said they wanted, um, a casting director wants to meet with you. It's just a general, it's not for anything, but her name's Bonnie Pietula, and she'd like to meet with you. So I met with Bonnie, and she didn't know me, and I didn't know her, so we're just finding out, what do you need, what do I need, that kind of thing. And I told her that I did voices for cartoons, and she had never met anybody that had done, I, maybe to the degree that I did it, because I was, at that point in time, I was doing a lot of uh, syndicated Saturday morning stuff. There was no cable yet even at that time so it was a great meeting she said yeah I'm sure there'll be an opportunity where I can meet up with you again well it wasn't that much later within the year I got another call and it was from her office through my agent saying there's this little show called the Tracy Ullman show and they want you to read for this part her name's Lisa Simpson and she's like eight years old the middle child I said what is it is it a show no it's not really a show it's a little interstitial I'm like what's that so that was it, and I went in, and I saw the audition for Lisa, but right next to it was Bart. I'm like, damn. <laughs> that is me, man. I am so doing him. So I met Matt Groening, and the rest is history.